Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia and I make videos about anthropology every single Sunday, but today I'm going to be talking about museum careers, the highest paid museum careers that you can get. So really quickly, I did want to mention that I'm filming this video because of another video that I did called my experience working in a museum and these go hand in hand. So if you're interested in this, you might be interested in that. But now on to those high paying museum careers. Okay, so the first position that we are going to be talking about today might be the most well known museum position that there is but this position is becoming a museum curator. And on average, museum curators make about $78,000 per year. I will say all these salaries depend on where you live and may change after the publication of this video. Now, museum curators have a lot of responsibility. I would be lying to you if I said anything else, but it's definitely true that the main responsibility of the museum curator is in the job title, and that is curating museum exhibits. But again, there's so much that goes into this. A lot of that is research, doing extremely detailed research on this exhibit that you wanna create. This includes understanding clear timelines, understanding which artifacts you want to bring in, where to get those artifacts from. Also, there's the presentation side, how to present this exhibit to the public. And one thing that does get overlooked a lot is museum curators are often dealing with very complex topics. This is not always the case, but it often is. And you have to remember that when you create an exhibit, you are trying to create something that a lot of people can understand. Your average Joe can just walk into your exhibit and take something away that's really, really interesting. So there's a lot of levels of research and analysis and presentation that go into becoming a museum curator. You also more broadly will oversee collections, making sure that everything is going well, going smoothly, getting all the things that you need ready to go uh, for your exhibit. But yes, that is museum curators. Okay, so the next position that we have on this list is becoming a museum archivist. And museum archivists on average make about $60,000 per year. And once again, what you do as an archivist is in the job description. When I hear archivist, I think archive. So what does that mean in the context of a museum? So archivists are really well known for the organization skills that they have because you need to be so detailed, so organized because you are cataloging everything. This is important historical documents. This is artifacts. This is what comes into the museum and when it goes and you do a lot of research. Um, I think I'm a big research girl. And so when it comes to thinking about cataloging and making sure everything's organized, I sometimes would wonder if there was more to this position than that. Um, but I will say that you also get to do a lot of research on these artifacts. Um, and of course, making sure that everything stays in good shape. Really quickly, if you've not liked or subscribed to this channel, definitely do that because I make anthropology content every single Monday and I talk to everybody in the comment section down below every single week and we have a really good time. So yeah, definitely do that if you want more anthro content and information, but now on to that next museum career. So the next museum career that we're going to be talking about is one that I did not know about or not know much about prior to the researching and filming of this video. And that is becoming an exhibition director and exhibition directors on average make about $73,000 per year. So what is an exhibition director? I'm going to tell you. So something that I think people often forget is that museums are a lot more than what's happening just inside that museum. There's a lot that goes on outside of the museum um, when it comes to how you want to present your museum to the public. And the exhibition director tends to oversee a lot of these external interactions. So I did find a really great little quote online, basically exhibition directors oversee public image of exhibitions and exhibition development. So basically what this means is you have to keep in mind the public image of your museum. And this is a lot of things. Museums, it's really important that they have positive and helpful interactions with other schools, businesses, public organizations, 
and so on because again you want people to enter in your museum you want people to learn a lot you want people to have a good time and making sure that you can present your museum in the proper way to the public and create like a safe fun engaging space all goes into the overseeing that the exhibition director does. So when you think of an exhibition director, I would recommend thinking about the museum, but not only what's happening within the museum, it's also how the museum is interacting with other people and groups all around the world. So the fourth and final position that we have on this list is a fun one, it's a good one, It's maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't, um, and that is becoming a museum director. And on average, museum directors make about $73,000 per year. So remember, we were just talking about what was happening outside the museum, right? Your museum's interactions with other people and schools and organizations. Well, the museum director is a little bit more focused on, again, the internal function, everything that's going on within your museum. This is overseeing the exhibits, items getting exchanged, um, making sure everyone's doing their job. Also, the financial operations are definitely a big thing that the museum director oversees. And probably the biggest thing that you will find everywhere is making sure that everything that the museum is doing is aligned with their mission and making sure that this museum is getting their message out to the world that they intend to do. Right? If you're a science museum and you create an exhibit on anthropology that doesn't really have a ton of science in it, is the museum really carrying out its mission? This is a good question and something that the museum director would be responsible for catching or stopping or changing if it were something to present itself. Now, quick disclaimer, the museum space is such an incredible place to be, but I did want to say that when I talk about each of these positions, depending on where you work, they're all going to look a little bit different. So I don't want anyone walking away from this video hearing my explanations and thinking this is 100% how it's going to be every single time. I hate to break it to you. That's just not the case. Uh, curators, archivists, museum directors, exhibition directors, all looks different. Some museums might not even have all of these positions. It really does depend. So just keep that in mind and make sure when you're reading these listings to read the descriptions and the skills necessary in as detailed a way as you can. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you want a part two, please let me know. I have four more positions ready to go that make good salaries that you could pursue within the museum space. So if this is something you want to hear about, definitely let me know. I'm not going to waste your time if you're not interested. Um, and once again, don't forget to check out that video on my experience working in a museum. So yeah, I will see you all next week, next Monday. And yeah, all right, you guys. Bye.